Uh, yeah, we remember. It was there. It is. It's so much nicer than our house in the city. <laughs> And that's the other thing too that we were concerned about is that um, we don't want people since I've had the bladder. I haven't had the accidents, and I don't have to have people come up to me and say, well, there's a problem, so I don't have to worry about people making fun of me because of that. So in this uh, time-consuming the difference between these technologies and that of cloning and stem cells is that here we're using the patient's own cells. So basically if a patient has a problem with their particular organ, you're taking the cells from the patient, growing those cells outside the body, and putting those cells right back into the patient. Beginning again. Okay. Sorry, but I can't. I'm sorry. That's okay. I mean, scientifically, I can tell you right now that the will wait some days for the bladder to grow, meaning... The way that we engineer these organs is we actually create a scaffold in the shape of a bladder, a mold, if you will, which is three-dimensional. And we then take the cells and seat the cells onto the mold one layer at a time, very much like baking a layered cake. You then place that structure into the oven, which is the incubator, and approximately a few weeks later, you have your organ, which is ready to be implanted. Basically, what we're using are techniques to really expand these cells in large quantities. So today, we can take a small centimeter squared biopsy of tissue, and by day 60, we can have enough days to cover a football field. Uh, we currently have many other tissues and organs that we're working on at the Institute, including blood vessels, windpipes, heart, liver, pancreas, they all have challenges of their own, and we're trying to uh, overcome those. Currently, we face a major organ shortage. The number of transplants has remained entirely flat in the last decade while the number of patients on the wait list has increased threefold. So there's a major need for replacement tissues and organs. Volunteer services for the corrections department in Connecticut, which to me is a oxymoron. <laughs> you know, but he goes like yourself. I feel just like myself. It's actually not, for me, I feel like I do have like a body part that was growing, but it's my own body part, so. And uh, so the big thing here is that they've avoided all those, those side effects, some of which were really terrible. It, it's mind-blowing. It's, you know, it, it's science fiction at its best. It concerns me. Like, I don't have to worry about having the accidents as much as I did before. Now, like, I can go like enjoy having fun 
without having to worry about having the accidents. Cool. So this is our exercise, guys. It's our gym.